So this week, we're kicking off a new series called Meet the Threat Actors. Because who doesn't want to find out about the gremlins under their bed? Let's back up a second. First of all, what is a threat actor and how can they impact your business? Well, simply put, a threat actor is an attacker. It could be anyone from your postman to a disgruntled employee and everything in between. But in the security world, we've managed to create five categories of people who constitute threat actors. And those categories are script kiddies, malicious insiders, advanced persistent threat groups, or APTs, hacktivists, and lastly, organized crime. So why should you care about these five groups of threat actors? Well, it's surprisingly important. Picture this scene. It's the middle of the night, you go downstairs to get a glass of water, and uh, you find out your TV has been stolen. Suddenly, you're swimming in a sea of questions. How did my TV disappear? Have we been robbed? How am I gonna watch Super Bowl? Wait, am I gonna get a big insurance check? How am I gonna spend that money? Okay, so maybe that last one's not real, but you get the idea. If you can at least get a rough idea of who took your television, you might have a chance of tracking them down. After all, you wanna be careful. You don't wanna go chasing down some biker gang while you're wearing your fuzzy slippers. Well, the same thing applies to attacks that occur online. Just like the old saying goes, know your enemy. For example, if you can tell that a highly sophisticated group has committed some sort of virtual smash and grab, well, now you can tailor your defenses to thwart future attempts. And so with that, we'll dig into the first of five categories of threat actors. Our first one, the script kitty. And yes, the mental image you get of a screaming toddler in your head is probably accurate. You see, a script kitty is pretty much the bottom of the barrel as far as hackers are concerned. They're not very sophisticated, and they don't know a lot about what they're doing. Typically, they're using other people's tools for nefarious purposes. Is it nefarious or nefarious? I... <laughs> so at this point, you might be breathing a sigh of relief, thinking, well, look, I can put a kid to bed successfully, so I shouldn't have a problem with the script kitty. And that is where they get you. Don't be lulled into a false sense of security. Just because they're not very technically advanced doesn't mean they can't pack a punch. Think of it this way. Some criminals aren't very bright, but they can still do a lot of damage to your personal property. The same is true with a script kitty, especially if given enough time and enough resources. Take the now infamous hack of a British internet service provider named TalkTalk back in 2015. Yes, TalkTalk. Over 150,000 of their customers had their personal details stolen by a fairly unskilled group of hackers who took advantage of a simple exploit in TalkTalk's code code. You see what I did there? So they hacked the company and they dumped all this data online using a tool that somebody else wrote. They didn't even have the skills to write this themselves. They were simply using someone else's scripts. In other words, a script kitty. And they were able to wreak havoc by doing so. On the subject of tools, the script kitties will often use tools that have a very legitimate purpose such as the ones used by a red team, which we discussed in our video last week. Typically, script kitties will break into an organization just for the thrill of it, not necessarily because they're after your data. Or in some cases, they want to increase their street cred amongst the hacker community. It's ridiculous, I know. But the reality is, the impact to your company is just the same. It's bad. You don't want it. The upshot of this is because they're relatively new and unskilled in their hacking profession, they often will make some blatant mistakes that leads to them being traced and even caught. Take the TalkTalk Talk hackers, for example. Yeah, TalkTalk, Talk, it's still fun to say. They were caught because they were trying to sell the information about the vulnerabilities they used to other hackers. In other cases, script kitties have been known to leave auditing, logging, and crash reporting on, which leaves this massive trail for the authorities to be able to find them and hunt them down. So what does this really boil down to? Know your enemy. If you start to see signs of an attack and the attack seems somewhat rudimentary, it's possible that you're simply being targeted by a script kitty. So what do you do? It's time to bring out your incident response plan. You do have a plan, right? At Sky Technologies, we have a wealth of experience and knowledge in helping our customers to implement their security response plan. And we are well positioned to offer advice on how you can boost the security within your organization, potentially making you more resistant to attacks from script kitties. Get in touch with us today to learn more. In next week's episode, we'll learn about another type of threat actor, malicious insiders. 
You can see how that would be quite different than a script kitty. Stay tuned to find out more.